Hey, we're back with more River Talk. Deacon, you're excited because you're an artist. I love it. <laughs> She's got some fine work here. Well, who's she? Well, let's talk about it. Well, let's, let's get into it. All right. Talk Welcome to, to the show, Amy Zanakis. Yeah. Good to see you. Nice. All to right. See we'll you too. Thank you. For you doing it. Thank you. I'm old school. I'm still shaking <laughs> hands. Here, here. You okay. need to. Might want to. You sure? <laughs> hey, I'm a hugger too. I've had a hard time when anytime really? anytime right. I meet somebody right. or see somebody, I go up and hug them and. It's hard. It's been hard for me. Right. <laughs> That's tough. I'm telling you. Yeah, they told me at Sunday school I probably need to knock off on some of the hugging. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've been hugging hugger. this for the last I didn't know I was months. such a people person until yeah. I had to stay away from people because I thought I was kind of a curmudgeon. Anti-social. Well, you still are a curmudgeon. <laughs> yeah. That hasn't changed a bit, Jack. But uh, you're, you're like me. You're a hugger. Who knew? Good to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. This is a cool little story. Eight Threads and Designs. Yes. It's an interesting name. It is. And actually, it's funny because I have a lot of new... I'm most, I'm on Facebook and Instagram, and I have a lot of new followers um, recently. And they are probably wondering, as they scroll through some of my recent work, why, it have, why I have eight threads in there. Um, and it started, when I started this, it was back in 2013, with monogramming, applique, embroidery, um, clothing. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of where I thought I was going with this. And then in December, the next year, so about a year later, I asked my husband, I said, for Christmas, I want to jigsaw or a scroll saw and he just kind of looked at me like what in the world right and um so i told him i wanted to start doing door hangers and since then december of 2014 up until now so about five and a half years the door hangers and the cutouts monograms have just kind of blown up i still do the um, clothing heat transfer or heat press um items sure. but the monograms and the door hangers and things like that have kind of been mostly what i do at this point that's very cool yeah yeah it's very fun <laughs> my wife has asked for tools before for christmas and so she's gotten some of those same saws and yeah she used them for some projects but <laughs> life is just so demanding she didn't but she's ready we're, we're loaded with saws yeah, yeah. good well the eight threads i mean why eight threads why that number so we have eight people in our family and what I was doing was I was creating things for the people in my family that I was doing um, like monogram shirts or applique shirts or things like that. And I actually started sewing clothing. I was making dresses. Um, I had gotten a sewing machine. And so for I, the eight was representative of all of the people in my family okay. that I was making stuff for. Well, so, there yeah. you go. Yeah. A home story, Deacon. <laughs> I'm excited. And, and, and now she slipped into a real money maker here because I've never... I've never seen a, a lot of this around. I just haven't seen it. I mean, you know, sign companies, you know, stuff. And you may find something like that, maybe Walmart, and little small ones or something like that. But these are nice this stuff. Yeah, this well, is, thank you. What a great idea. And the great thing about these two is that um, it's so, it's customizable. Like you said, there are you can go to stores and buy a sign, but, you you know, whenever you buy it, you get exactly what you, what you see. And so the cool thing about talking with the customers and – what I love doing on Facebook is if you if I had a website and you just click and you order you get what you you know exactly what you see but in conversations with people I'm able to customize exactly what they want they'll send me pictures of their nursery and so I match the colors of whenever we do some of the nursery signs I'm able to match the colors so it looks exactly like you know and it matches their nursery the same with like flowers or just whatever they want everything is customizable um, in any of the designs that I do so that is really size neat. wise and color wise and everything so. yeah the nursery side of things because oh yeah I mean, there are a lot of babies being born yes <laughs> and that's pretty cool what a great little gift yeah that's one of my big sellers um are the nursery and the the 3d ones that we that we have here on display too well let's 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 get uh, one up for people to get a really good look at this thing this is pretty cool look at that yeah, so the, that buffalo pod one is the um, one of my top sellers over the past year, mm-hmm. and that again I have welcome in there. I've had I've done family names, I've done um, initials, and then this one just happens to be a reversible one. So um, you know, and and like I said, everything's customizable. If you want welcome on that side, if you want the Jordans, if you want an initial, whatever you want, we can we can customize okay. to to your liking. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah, customizable. House colors, bring at your, your door maybe or your shutters there. Yeah. Cool. And boy, she does the dimensional. Let's whip out the dimensional one here. This oh, is cool. Wow, that's neat? cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, wow, that, that that's is, cool. That gives me an idea. I could use something like that for my oh, yeah. little for my little stage. Oh yeah, Wouldn't yeah, that be you cool? sure could. Yeah, that's probably the most popular um, nursery or hospital door hanger right now. Um, sometimes we'll put a little tag on it for the weight and date and time that they were born, and then they're able to take it, you know, off the hospital door, take it home, and hang it up in the nursery too. And the 3D just layered look is very, very in right now. It is. Yeah. We're, now, what about this here? Let's, uh, look at this. this yes. So Don't put your eye out. This is um, this is a double name. We can do single or double names. And again, these go on walls in nurseries. Um, and this one I think is 28 inches wide. The largest we can do any size from um, 10 inches for the double names all the way up to 36 inches wide. Okay. So perfect size for above a crib um, and again any color and I have different fonts available so it's very very versatile on what you can order whenever well, you order those you, things. Yeah, you got a scroll saw you say. I have a scroll saw and a um, jigsaw and that's what I use to cut out some of the solid shapes so like the solid circle and the seasonal ones right. is what I use but um, I also have somebody cut with a CNC the ones that are a little bit more detailed. Um, the names and the, the letters like on the 3d one they cut out those for now me. what if i ask for a centipede i could do it i could do <laughs> With it 100 legs yeah would well, that be tough or I what could no i could i probably wouldn't cut out 100 legs but i can definitely paint 100 legs on there and you would be surprised at yeah. some of the details and some of the things that people ask for um and there have been very few times where somebody's asked for something and i've it's i've said that i can't do that for the most part, we can figure out some way to, you know, to customize it to get. Now, what's exactly the CNC what you're talking about? What is that? It is a large, probably about the size of this table, a large machine that you program in. So I actually design a lot of the the things, and I'll send it to this person, and then they use the. It's like I said, a large machine, and it's automatic. I mean, you, they it's hooked up to a computer, and it cuts out. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. I so got you. It, it would take me a very, very long time to hand cut. Sure. That name so this is just a more efficient way to get some of those more detailed things expediency in. is the name of the game my absolutely dear. And he was thinking he was very, getting the canadian important. club and coke over there at cnc <laughs> i was thinking music factory <laughs> everybody dance <now. laughs> i'm old forgive me yeah you can tell we're old djs every that's time we think of anything if it pops up it's get a, a, a music title it's got a song Wait, in fun. it yeah, what reminds fun. me well where did this passion for art come from um, so I always have would consider myself a creative person. I was a first grade teacher um, and actually when I started this I was teaching and I was doing um, what I wanted to do the door signs was for, t for things for my classroom, um, door hangers and just different ideas that I had. Um, so that was kind of where I started. And then as it grew, or as my business grew, I just kind of, I found it relaxing for me. Um, you know, if I am had a stressful day or a busy day in the evening, I just love to go in and just paint. It's very therapeutic. So, and I enjoy it. Good deal. Yeah, it's, it's. It was, I, I started, I mentioned that I was teaching. I started as just kind of a side thing for myself. And then when I had, he's five now, my um, son, I decided to stay home with him. And so what started as staying, you know, being a stay at home mom and kind of doing this painting thing on the side turned into working from home, essentially. Um, I work pretty much full time with this now to be able to get out all the things that, are, you know, that people order. Wow. So, yeah. But I like it. I mean, I really enjoy it. It's very flexible. I, you know, can just kind of work my own time and schedule. And, you know, if we're taking vacation, I don't have to take off from anybody. I mean, it's it's a it's very fun and I enjoy it very much. Yeah. So you get you have somewhat control over absolutely your day-to-day -day routine yes there are little obstacles that pop up all the time yeah. i say i have control but i you know i have no control, no control. <laughs> i mean none of us really do well, it, and it's therapeutic say i'm an artist yes and it's therapeutic to me too and yeah. it all started when i was a young man in a hospital and i was making magazine racks out of cheerios but it was just a lot of fun and then i got into drawing and stuff and then i got into tv and radio that's real therapeutic. I'm still trying to figure out how you did that, and then I went, okay. Anyway. <laughs> I always like to blow his a, mind. A in the lunatic these mind areas. and raised in West Virginia. It's a dangerous combination. Well, you grew up here in Horry County, right? I did. Yep. 
I did. I, I live in Aner. Um, I actually have somebody who um, who lives right down the road who I've just, I say I just hired, recently hired to help. Um, she will do my base coats and things like that. Um, and she lives in Conway. So we, um, we kind of know a lot of the people around here and are just really able to connect and um, out, you know, do outreach. And it's really helped just having you know, being here and, and knowing a lot of people. And we get a lot of referrals and things like that. And I, we just have the best customer base. And most of it is in Horry County. I can think of like major, and, and I'm sure that some folks, but new homes, it's mm-hmm. pretty much life milestones that you could create something. Yes. Like you real estate agents out there. Well, what a great gift when you sit close on it, your home. Yeah, it really is. I actually have several who have bought from me who have bought, you know, real estate agent gifts. And um, and I will say, too, that we um, – Another connection that we do is that we've done we do paint parties, which we're not doing them now, but um, we would do paint parties for nursing homes, fundraisers, churches, things like that, youth groups, and that was very helpful in a way to you know to outreach in the community. And also, like I said, we've done fundraisers, you know, to be able to help um, youth groups or help different organizations um, through paint parties too, which has been great. You could do like a whole wedding bachelorette paint yeah. party and. All the have the theme, and then the girls get to take home a piece of their artwork yep. after the wedding. We've done a bachelorette party too, See, and the look cool at there. thing See about how I that, right there? well, the cool thing about that was um, what we did was we did a bachelorette party, and the um, guests, which were mostly her bridesmaids, did gifts. They 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 painted something, and each was a different season, and so the. She oh, moved. Okay. She got married, and she all of a sudden, just from one night, had door hangers from start to finish for the whole year. And you know, one of the things that I always say is that you. This is a gift for you know somebody who has everything because they can always use it. Sure. Um, it's one of those things that is just very versatile, and it's it personalization things like that are really good gifts. How about for people graduation? Too. Yep. You know, with the kids now, they, uh, with no graduation, I notice they're putting out like little signs, you know, uh, uh, Elmer just graduated here and uh, whatever. Uh, that'd be kind of neat for that. You know. Yeah. I actually, I posted the day that they announced that, you know, that we wouldn't have in-person graduations. Um, originally, I had posted a graduation cap that I was working on for somebody, and I actually this year sold um, close to 50 graduation caps yeah. from, you know, this area. So. See? Yeah. It was, can these, can, do you do any where they're just mounted on stakes for maybe a yard? Like, Actually, yes. I have done okay. the wood ones, but I also have a material called um, ACM, which is like an acrylic material. It's very thin and lightweight. It's not metal, but it is weather and rust proof. Okay. Um, and I've done yard stakes on there, too. And I didn't bring any of those with me um, but just because I don't have I haven't. I don't have a sample of that right sure. now. Usually, once I get it in, I take yeah, you know, I put it right back it's out. Done. But um, but yeah, so weather resistant and yard stakes and things like that. I love it. Yeah, maybe you ought to do a two for Tuesday. You could have like a Christmas on one side and Easter on the other. Yeah, that would be a good idea. There you go. Yep. Do like the little two for package. Yeah. I don't know. Look you got one. You're just turning around. It's you know, perfect. You got all the seasons. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Halloween. <laughs> but you're, and then you turn it around. You got Thanksgiving. But you're knocking her out of money. No, I'm not. No. No, 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 no. She sees she, she's what I'm seeing. She, she, she's digging it. She's oh, got the vibe. Okay. Right. Yeah, well, she's I'll an entrepreneur. She can figure it out. <laughs> you go back and play it with works. your Cheerios. Yeah. It works. How do we find you on Facebook and Instagram quick? Eight Threads and Designs. It's spelled out E-I-G-H-T, Threads and Designs. I want to hold up this one right here because... I'm thinking Country Time Lemonade. <laughs> Look at that. That is cool. See, that's great right there. I know a kid who's got a lemonade stand, which is cool. And then, uh, obviously, you got to bring along. Oh, sorry. I just bought that one. <laughs> that's fine. I got plenty of money. <laughs> And I get so confused, too, with the seasons because I am painting. I mean, it's so hot outside. I'm painting pumpkins and snowmen. It, a lot of people order way ahead of time, and that's why I have this because they order their seasons. You know, it's kind of like clothing comes out way oh, ahead sure, of time. Oh, sure, yeah. Everybody yeah. has ordered, you know, their snowmans and things like that, and I'm, like, sweating over here summertime, and I'm painting snowmen. So I get kind of confused sometimes, but um, we have tons of seasonal ones. Uh, if you go on the Facebook page or on Instagram, there are a bunch of albums. Everything's organized by albums. So if anybody wants to order, they just can just go through and, you know, message me through there. And the most important thing is they're original. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. 
Well, thank you. Appreciate you coming by. Absolutely. Good thank stuff. you for having me. I'm melting. I'm melting. <laughs> I'm melting. <laughs> we'll be right back with more River Talk.